of what life could be. But then the years come and teach you to just wait and see. Forces may try to pull us apart, but nothing can faze me if you're in my heart. Crossing our fingers, singing a song, we're making It's all sciencey about the body, about different stuff going on, and with the family. It is a lot going on. It's in Birkenhead, near the docks, right next to the ferry terminal, in Seacom. Let's go and see what house is here. Hey, put me phone charger back on. Here, yeah, let me get a picture of you. How are we doing? We're in the museum. Yeah, Papa. Whatever that is. Hello and happy Easter and welcome to the second part of my video. This video started a bit differently this week. I hope you enjoyed the little intro. So the second part of the video is coming from the War Museum, the Imperial War Museum in Manchester. And I go and have a look around and see some amazing exhibits. Go and have a look for yourself. There is something quite special in there as well but i won't say what i'll let you figure that out in the description below there will be a link to their website <laughs> North, which is 
based in Manchester on a gorgeous sunny winter's day. You may recognise these poppies behind me and that is because we were in London on the dungeon I believe or the techno the tower of London uh, they were the poppies it's pretty cool it goes all the way all the way up there Did we get up there? On September 2001, or known as 9-11, 19 terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners. Two hit the World Trade Center in New York City. The September 11th attacks killed 2,977 people, including 78 British citizens. Making the attacks on September 11th the deadliest terrorist attack in history. The first plane to hit the two towers was American Airlines Flight 11, which was piloted by the ringleader Mohammed Atta, who flew into the North Tower at approximately 8.46 am. Then 17 minutes later at 9.03, the South Tower was hit by United Airlines Flight 175. Both 110 storey skyscrapers collapsed within an hour and 41 minutes, bringing about destruction of the remaining five structures in the WTC complex, also damaging and destroying nearby buildings. After 100 days of fires still ablaze, they were eventually ex extinguished on December 20 exactly a hundred days after the attacks. In the Imperial War Museum, there is a momentum to the World Trade Center. As you can see a part of the building, up close and personal. And it isn't until you get up close and personal with this piece that it really hits you of the destruction, the devastation, that was caused on September 11th, 2001. I remember where I was on uh, September 11th, 2001. We hadn't got back to school yet. And um, we were playing outside and I thought it was a film on TV. And it was real long. This place is really cool. There is a lot to see. So many exhi exhibits about different wars and different areas of peace. Free entry. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way the things have been, or oh. the way the things have been, or. Oh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I could be I'm the one at the sail, I'm the master of my sea, or The master of my sea, or I was broken from a young age, taking my soak into the masses Writing my poems for the few that looked at me, talked to me, shipping me, feeling me Sick up from heartache, from the pain, taking my message from the veins Speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the... I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I hope you've had plenty of eggs if you're a chocolate eater like myself.
that will be gone in a minute so happy easter and i will see you next week same time same place goodbye for now